Alright, what's up YouTube? It's Gushi, and this might be a little bit different. Normally I don't give you guys an adequate intro, but I figured it's time to do some just YouTube-only content. And it seems like people are fairly interested in tierless videos to keep on getting questions on when the next one is, to keep on giving me suggestions as to when the next one will be, things like that. So I figured, uh, what's a better way to start redoing the structure of tierless videos? than to uh, just anger some people with a Pokemon starter tier list. Now, granted, it's not going to be only the starters kind of thing. Like, we're going to take into account, like, their anime appearances, their other evolutions, how how they're portrayed, things like that. And I figured we'd have some nice, you know, mostly video game music in the background, just so you guys don't even have to hear my fan, but you guys can also just enjoy the jams while we're talking about this. Uh, unfortunately, I might be looking this way rather than this way that's because even though i have three monitors obs only captures one the main one uh, i don't know why that is uh but uh obs is obs uh so we'll take what we'll get uh, i'll probably also leave the most controversial pokemon in my opinion to myself along with uh, earlier I stated that I'm going to redo the tier list videos so if you'd like to see the raw tier list videos from Twitch I'll probably have a link in the description unlisted below that way I don't have to spam your guys' inbox but you can kind of see chat interaction things like that uh, and more specifically for this one Holly also inputted uh, her opinion into the tier list as well so if you want a two-in-one tier list well there you go so uh there's actually like no structure no structure for the pokemon down there except like gen 8 is first and then like from there we just go on so grookey i was definitely a part of the grookey gang uh with rillaboom i think is his final evolution he seems pretty dope i'm down with grookey uh to be honest a lot of the gen 8 starters i'm actually fairly okay with it's just like their final evolutions uh you know can be a little little hit or miss kind of thing mostly Sobble I'm pointing at Sobble Sobble kind of sucks but Grookey definitely a plus tier um or well you know let's not let's not get overzealous yet we'll put him at a tier we'll go from there uh also as another heads up these will be ordered all the tiers will be ordered uh except probably maybe like the last like two or three you know if they're in there they probably just suck in general so you don't you don't even really need to be so harsh uh, and, uh, uh, score bunny score bunny is pretty amazing reboot that's like one of the cooler like middle evolutions we've gotten in quite some time and then uh Cinderace, i think is the final evolution see him so much in the meta right now uh i guess fairly cool ability even though i guess that just felt like their pokemon company's copying out way of not giving them fire and fighting but you know kind of also you know why them be fire and fighting but I kind of like the design, even though I was Grookey Gang, I, I feel like uh, Score Bunny has a little bit more like versatility in them, and uh, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Now for Sobble, uh, the, the first, the first, uh, you know, the starter, it's kind of nice. I dig it. But Inteleon, I, I don't know, like a sniper with a, like, we're not seven anymore, uh, Game Freak, you know? So I'm, I'm not really feeling Sobble as a whole. That's a D tier. D for depression, which is what that Pokemon definitely has. Uh, on to Ted Pig. I'm a huge Bacon fan. No, that might be weird to say with a ba uh, pig, with a pig Pokemon. But uh, Embor is kind of alright. I kind of dig that he's just like a, like a fat pig, but... Uh, you know, being like the third firefighting in a row, and he doesn't look like he actually has like too much personality kind of thing. Um, I'll put him in C tier. I think I like him enough to not hate him, but I don't like him enough to say like... I, I wouldn't invite him over to like the family barbecue is what I'm trying to say, you know? Uh, Cyndaquil. When I was a kid, I actually didn't really like Gen 2 that much. At first, I thought Gen 2 was actually the Orange Island League, and then I got it, and I was really confused as to, like, what this whole new world was. It wasn't, you know, a bunch of islands and whatnot. Uh, and then, yeah, as a kid, you know, tease, like, I used to love Pokemon cards, and I wasn't crazy about Gen 2. I wasn't crazy about the games. I wasn't crazy about the Pokemon cards. Uh, and then as I got older, for whatever reason, that all changed. And I'm like, dude, this generation, 
kind of dope. Uh, with that being said, I think I'll put the Nikhil at A tier. Uh, I think he, he's per, he's pretty adorable. Uh, cool lava, amazing Pokemon. Starts with a Q. Don't get that a lot. And I I dig that Typhlosion. You know, he, he ain't bad, but he ain't you know among my favorite kind of thing. Uh, as for Squirtle though, that's gonna be like an easy easy A plus. Squirtle Squad, hello. War Turtles, dope. I love War Turtles design. When I got uh, the War Turtle base set card as a kid, he just looked immaculate. I don't know. He just he just looks like he looks like one of the cool kids. Looks like a look a little bit like a douchebag, but he's not like a complete one kind of thing. Like he's nice to you, uh, but he j he just has like the LRM Blastoise. Uh, like I don't know, I don't know what to say about Blast. I I like Blastoise a lot actually, but um, uh, the whole line is just just amazing. I love it. I love it. Uh, Piplup. I actually don't like Piplup at all. Printplup, I think it is. Print print print. But yeah, some something and then Empoleon. Uh, I I don't, uh, there's Empoleon's ugly. I don't know. I don't. I actually don't think this whole line is actually that good. Uh, the only saving grace for Piplup is uh, Dawn has it. Uh, yeah, so Piplup definitely uh, that hmm, that might be a little harsh. C tier, you know, like average. It's there. It's all right, kind of thing. Uh, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Froakie. This is, I think, the only Gen 6 starter I actually uh, somewhat like. I'm normally a grass person, but Froakie is pretty cool. Uh, I got Pokemon X for for free during like a Nintendo promotion. A nin Greninja. Kind of nice, too. Uh, Frogadier, I think, is the, the middle one. He, he's all right. He's all right. I, I, I think I can sadly put Froakie in, like, B tier. You know, nothing exceptional. But nothing really bad about them. And a frog Pokemon frogs are dope. Who doesn't love frogs? Hello? Mudkip. I like him. You like him too. It's Mudkip. We all like Mudkip. Uh, Totodile. Uh, I really like Totodile in the anime. You know, it's just... He's very happy, very eccentric. Things like that. Crocna. Not really digging Crocna. Froligator, I actually think is kind of neat. Kind of like the design a little bit, uh, and I think you know because of the Gen 2 TCG, you know the three final evolutions of the stars. Their cards are super memorable, uh, even though I think Frogairs is probably like the least memorable, but they they're still really striking. Um, I don't think uh, actually I, I feel like I probably picked Toadow more than Cyndaquil in the games when I didn't pick uh, you know Chikorita, but I, I like them. Beats here. I like him. Above average, for sure. Uh, Snivy. Awful. Dreadful. Stuck up. I hate you. Literally dumpy. Disgusting. Uh, Oshawott. How'd you turn into Samurai, bro? What happened? What drugs did you do? Who fed you only, like, coffee and pixie sticks? You're disgusting. Get out of here. Only, like, memory I have of, like, Oshawott. It's way back in the day, way back. Gen 4, Gen 5, YouTube, you know. Late 2000s, early teens kind of thing. Uh, was it Fizzy Stardust, I think his name was. He had like the intro uh, Oshawa. It's dope. Other than that, hate it. Disgusting. Uh, Rowlet. Awesome. He's an orb. He's a burb. He's amazing. Decidueye, awesome. His middle evolution, don't know the name of it. Also really cool like a little robin hood love it he's adorable uh that was gen 7 i think right yeah do i i think that's the only gen 7 i like yeah probably the only gen 7 starter i like for sure um this next book one gonna be very controversial but trico also actually dumpy it was weird because i kind of i kind of like him in the anime uh but i don't really like his personality, I don't like his attitude. I actually don't even really like Skeptile. Grovile, kind of cool. Skeptile, not really. Mega Skeptile, get him out of here. Not down it. Not down about it, you know? Uh, so he could also be literally dumpy. Uh, Poplio, kind of ugly. Kind of ugly. Um, he can also be down there with Oshawa. I will actually put him above Oshawa because he's cuter, but he's still ugly. Uh, but he's like the cute ugly. He's like the ugly duckling, you know? 
Uh, that's all I need to say about that one. Primarina, I think. Oof. Ugh. Lordy. And it's, I think, part fairy. Fairy types are ruined the game. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, Litton. Uh, you know, I, I, uh, I play Incineroar and Smash. That, or Yoshi and Incineroar, mostly because the fiance wants me to. The meme factor. It's really doofy. Doofus. Doofy. You know, synonyms. Things like that. Uh, so I, I can... Uh... I'll put him top of A tier. Uh, and I remember one time I saw Litten's like middle evolution. And again, I have no idea what it's called. Later generation of Pokemon, I'm really bad with stuff like that. But um, I, I didn't even know who Torcat. That's what it's Torcat. I looked at it. I'm like, what? What is this Pokemon? I've I've never seen it. Like, what's going on here? It's a little crazy. I just now realize that my camera probably needs to be reversed. That is, uh, that, is that the wrong camera? That's the wrong camera. <laughs> Hold on, guys, this is very important. See, now I'm like facing towards it. Oh my gosh, that's that's a rough blunder there. That's rough. Um, Charmander. We all know what's up with Charmander. The, the episode in the, the anime, depressing. I still cry as an adult. Uh, Charizard, dope. Anyone that hates Charizard is actually just wrong. The poster child of the 90s, right there. Charizard. Everyone wanted the Charizard. Charmeleon, also really cool. Uh, I used to think that Charmeleon was a cow back in the day, just because of his like back sprite. It was like really bad. It was kind of thick. I didn't know what it was. Uh, but you know, Gen 1's kind of notorious for having really bad sprites in general, but especially back sprites. Back sprites were a struggle for them, but uh, Charmander. Amazing, hell yeah, brother. A plus two, for sure, for sure. Uh, Torchic. Uh, I also love Torchic in Gen three. I love Blaziken when he was announced for Pokin. I thought that was like, the coolest thing ever. I really wanted to play Pokin uh, until I kind of just learned that it seemed like a bad game. <laughs> um, community is amazing though. I love the Pokin community, but I could not play Pokin at all. I played with you know a couple of my friends, and you know it was like they were getting rewarded for like mashing buttons i didn't know what the fuck to do it, it, was, it was it was a little jarring but torchic easy s tier easy i love torchic love it whoever makes fun of kabuskin your mom's a hoe there i said it um so we're gonna save uh we're gonna do the last three rather than the next three up because those are gonna be probably a, a little sensitive to people kind of thing uh Chespin, I think this creature's name is. Um, I don't know. He looks okay. Chestnut's kind of cool, I guess. Uh, and I think it's like middle evolution. It's just a ball. It looks like just a ball to me. I dig it. Um, but he's not anything exceptional. I think this is also like another Gen 6 Mon that's just like... Who cares? I guess. I don't know. Does not, does not do it for me. Um, Fennekin, you're disgusting. I hate you. Uh, there's too much art of you. Things like that. Not, not down with it. Uh-oh. Oh, I got the camera on. Okay. We don't need no titties on the YouTube just yet. Alright. Uh. Sorry for the interruption. I I don't know how the the pause uh, on OBS if you can even pause. Uh, Chimchar, Chimchar next. I also just don't like Chimchar at all. Infernape, Monferno, they do nothing for me. Um, I think the Grookey lineup just even looks better. Let alone uh, yeah, I I'm just not down for it. Not in the slightest. Not in the slightest. Um, you know, I kind of put Rollet a little low. I just noticed. Let's put him S here. I think Rollet's a perfect boy, pretty much. Uh, Turtwig, also S tier. Uh, one of the finest Gen 4 mons, I think. And Gen 4 actually added a lot of good Pokemon. So, definitely S tier from there. Uh, I love Torterra. Torterra's a baller. Uh, 
Grodel, thinks his name is. Also a cutie. They're just fantastic. Look at him. He's adorable. He's precious. You would never want to hurt that, would you? Um, and for these next two mods, we actually need to... Bless these Pokemon and bless their creators. And they both go up there. Uh, it's really hard for me to tier these two. Because, uh, again, I'm a grass starter kind of guy. And I absolutely love them. Bulbasaur is good competitively, I think. Mega Venusaur is insane. Uh, Ivysaur is a monster. Used to love playing him in Project M. Uh, he's, just, uh, he's our little cabbage boy. Who doesn't love a cabbage boy? You don't have to like cabbage, but you have to love our cabbage boy. And in Chikorita, I feel like Chikorita gets way too much hate for absolutely like no reason whatsoever. She ever got the designer spiked collar on. She's a cutie. She only wants to love you. Bayleaf, adventurous, wants to protect you. Meganium, I love Meganium's TCG cards. They look so dope. As a kid, I used to call it Maganium. I didn't know how to pronounce things. I still don't know how to pronounce things. Fun fact, right there. Boom, free one. Uh, but Meganium, awesome. I don't know why people hate Chikorita so much. I don't even see. The, like, it, I feel like if Gen 2 had to have like a favorite, it would be Totodile. I don't, like, I don't know. I don't, I don't even see the appeal of Cyndaquil over like Chikorita. But I, I guess that's just me. I guess I like thick pears, something like that. Um, but that's actually it for this tier list. Hopefully this was a little bit more fluid, a little bit more informational of a tier list rather than just a live stream Twitch one kind of thing. Again, uh, if you want the like raw Twitch version of this that also includes Holly's tier list, uh, there should be a video for that down below. Along with we will have, uh, I guess, tier list videos coming up for like the next month. We got Mario characters. We got Mario Kart. Uh, tier list. We have Mario Party 3 items because unfortunately I could not find a tier list that had all of the Mario Party items which is probably fair because there could be a lot of them but there's one for Mario Party boards so uh, I don't know about that so we, we have a few videos lined up uh, I actually have to check to see if they go up on Monday or Tuesdays I honestly can't remember it's been like two or three weeks since I've last uploaded one and I don't normally upload them in like bulk so I'll just like put three out there and then just schedule them for release. So this one should either be out today, which is the 10th or tomorrow, the 11th. Um, but other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed the tier list. Tell me how bad my opinions are down in the comments below. If you have a suggestion for what tier list video I should do next uh, or next batch or so, uh, you can leave that in the comments down below. Or if you want to visit our discord, discord.gg slash Gucci gaming. All the social media links will be in the description down below. Everything's always in the description. Um, but if you want to leave it there too, message me on Twitter, what have you, whatever's the easiest form, uh, please do so. And hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully I didn't boil your potato too much. Probably did, especially with uh, Chikorita being S tier. But what can I say? Someone has to love her, and I'm the lover.